Uh, let's pivot back to the to the market discussion. Uh, Peter, I wanted to come to you because I, I, I know you sort of turned more uh, more bearish uh, in, in July, I think it was. Are you still fairly bearish or have you pivoted at all? No, I am. You know, the I've, I've said for a very long time, I felt markets have had, uh, equity markets in particular, have had pretty poor risk reward um, given where valuations are. And I think the dependency, frankly, on $6 trillion of fiscal stimulus is largely underappreciated by most analysts and strategists. Um, and I think it's going to be a little bit rough for the organic recovery to fill that hole um, as smoothly as a lot uh, as a lot of people seem to think. Moreover, you know, even if inflation doesn't hang around for more than another six months, um, I think that's going to continue to pr pr provide some serious headwinds, especially for smaller cap companies, which of which uh, I'm probably most bearish because they're going to have trouble passing those costs through to, to their customers, because unlike large cap uh, tech companies, for example, uh, they just simply don't have that the pricing power that uh, the larger cap uh, comps. Sylvia, how does, how does the inflation view fit into your picks for stocks or sectors right now? Are, are you also looking for companies that have the best pricing power? Yeah, I, you know, it's certainly a factor and it's important to look at. But I think that, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see and continue to see what the inflation readings are going forward. I, you know, I buy into the thesis that the inflation numbers are transient. We saw a little bit of softness this month. So I don't think that there'll be a huge impact on the broad based market in the year to come. Um, when I think about the markets and, and what the opportunity is for the rest of the year, I think about how much stimulus there is in the market right now, how much spending we're planning on doing on infrastructure things like, you know, 5G alternative energy, uh, the amount of savings on the sidelines, you know, rates are incredibly low. Uh, earnings have been absolutely stellar broad based across the market. So I just think that in the near term, in the next year, potentially next year, we'll continue to see growth and we'll see the years ending in the green. Um, you know, after that, it remains to be seen how, how we sort of do with all of this and what happens with COVID and inflation. But in the near term, I'm still very bullish.